I am Laura Young and I founded the Teapot Trust with my husband John Young in November 2010. Um, we set up the Teapot Trust after um, looking after our daughter Verity who had lupus followed by cancer and Verity was somebody who got incredibly distressed by blood tests and some of the procedures she had to have when she had lupus. So before an appointment, I used to think, when am I going to tell her? Because there's going to be tears, a fight, a tantrum. And this became quite a frustrating thing as a parent to deal with. And we were looking for, how can we support Verity? And we had a lovely babysitter called Christina who was a great at art and she'd been at art college and we suddenly hit on the idea of I know if we get Christina to meet us at the hospital we can say to Verity oh we're going to see Christina and you're going to hospital at the same time and suddenly the focus of why we went to hospital was slightly different she could come home with a picture she could talk about that rather than the plasters the cannula scars in the back of her hand and we had been trying to get psychology support for her frustration and our inability to deal with this scared, frightened little girl. And we were told because she only had a rheumatology complaint, she had to wait. Whereas there was a dedicated play specialist for the children who had cancer. So Verity then did get cancer and of course could come to the top of the list for a, a, a bit more help and it was after she passed away we realised that we weren't the only family with children who had a complicated rheumatology complaint who needed a bit of extra support and so we gathered some money together after Verity died and we thought we would give it to a charity who could supply art therapy. So off I went thinking, okay, I'll go and find someone to do it. And there wasn't somebody who could fulfill the need that we saw for helping children with particularly rheumatology, but not exclusively rheumatology illnesses. And that's how the Teapot Trust was born. I think art is incredibly important for overcoming hurdles in life. Um, I think in today's modern, hectic life, we're forgetting how to relax unless we've got a screen in front of us. And even something as basic as knitting has now been proven to reduce your heart rate. So I think it's incredibly important for your own mental health to take time out. And whether that is doing art or taking a, a walk with your dog, um, it's getting a balance in life and we've got so, so busy, we're almost forgetting how to relax and do creative things as a way of switching off. So I think it's really important for everybody, young, old, male or female, to do something creative each day. So the Teapot Trust provides two forms of art therapy. We provide a group which is just drop-in um, or a closed group where the same number of children come each week but the open group causes the children to be distracted and less stressed about their appointments and then for children who are struggling a wee bit more we see the children one to one once a week and through a course of about eight ten possibly twelve sessions um, they can help them work through some ideas or just make a new friend in the hospital who isn't coming at them with anything more frightening than a pencil um, and they're able to talk about things through the drawings, um, through perhaps doing clay work, um, all sorts of things. Um, and that just helps them get their head around some issues that they're having without sort of being too direct about it. They're able to explore it in non-verbal communication. So um, it's, it's important for children who, you know, grown-ups speak too much and children are often lost for the vocabulary. And so sometimes just by drawing it, or talking through dots and stars and a, a pitch you didn't have to be good at art, they're able to express something that they may not have the, the full vocabulary or words for. Yes, lovely John Byrne is our patron at the moment and he agreed to be our patron um, at the end of last year and um, we're delighted that he's on board. Um, we love his work and we're delighted that he's going to um, be a, a roaring advocate for the Teapot Trust. He, he's seen what we're doing, we've taken him to the hospital and we've showed him what we're doing and he's, he thinks it's great stuff. 
The most fulfilling moment is actually the little letters we get from children or parents just saying um, the Teapot Trust is fabulous or we, had, we sometimes get quite moving letters from parents who's saying my children would, child wouldn't speak, they were frightened, they thought that because they were in a wheelchair they couldn't contribute to society. And I now have a child who realises they've got something special and they can contribute and they can do something that through doing art they were made to feel special and it's turned their view of their illness around, that it's not something they're saddled with but something that it, and it doesn't define them, that they can be them without being defined by their illness. And those letters saying thank you has been brilliant, we'd reach dead ends with psychology, we'd reach dead ends with trying to get help, they're the things that just think wow, it's really powerful. <laughs>